Well, hi there, Leo. Welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. We're changing it up this week and adding some decks. Ooh, changing our spread. Okay, this is a general reading, Love, Money, Career, for the period beginning the 10th of May. We're going to get these cards on the table real quick while I just give my little spiel. All right, this is an energetic reading, which means I'm channeling messages from the gaggle, the army, and the entourage of spirits in my space. I'm also getting some of your guides in. All right, so they laugh, they sing, they turn my TV on, they do lots of really interesting things. Just want to get their message across. If I get a spirit while we're doing the reading, which of course I will, okay, <laughs> but I'll call it out. All right, thanks, spirit. Now, if this resonates with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, or if you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below the video. Lots of ducks. All right. Put those there. All right. Quick shuffle. And then we'll just do the spread for the 10th of May. For Leo. Let's see what we have. Okie dokie. All right, we got the hangman. Five of swords. Strength. Paraphant. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> my favorite card. Nine of Cups. Definitely. Page of Pentacles. I have Leo in my chart, so I'm very excited. Three coins. Page of Cups. And three. Of Rods. Or Wands, depending on what you want to call it. All right. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. So. Hmm. Coffee. You're coming into this period. We might have some delays. Uh, maybe you're working on a home project and there's been some kind of delays there. Um, a house move, something to do with the home and a delay. Um, maybe you're waiting on a contractor or you're doing a DIY and the materials aren't there. So there's a delay. I mean, it's like you've ordered the materials and maybe they'll come in in this coming week, but... They can't schedule your install someone until months down the road. Um, if this resonates with you, by the way, throw a comment below. If you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm seeing some kind of delays here, there uh, in the home front. Somebody's spirit's coming in and you're having a delay in the commitment you're looking for in the relationship. Okay, um, and as far as career is concerned, there's this holding back. This You're creating this thing. You're holding back um, on dealing with a, a contract of some sort or a legal matter um, as you work on making some solid decisions. Um, some of you are finding delays in work too, but for the most part, uh, what I'm getting is, especially with this card and all the spirits talking in my ear, uh, what I'm getting is that it's causing you some internal conflict. Uh, it's causing you some stress. You know, uh, some um, annoyances, you know. You want to move forward. You want to get going. And... 
this is this isn't going as fast as you would like it to. It may be universally going this going the way it should, but it's not going as fast as you would like it to. So it's causing you some um, heartburn here, some agita. Uh, I'm getting uh, reflux for for a lot of people, uh, a lot of um, a lot of that, and you know, a lot of those physical manifestations. When we are not at ease, it will sometimes manifest more often than not into a physical ailment. That's um, that's our body's way of the wake up call, you know. Um, This is about, so, so there's some homework here, uh, you know, finding the balance. First of all, Leo, this is your reading. And Leo, we have the lion. This is the strength card. And this is about knowing that strength. Yellow signifies the solar plex chakra that is uh, above the belly button, below the heart. Okay, what you have in the solar plex chakra, that is our place of strength. That is our place of um uh, self-esteem and just knowing how strong you are I mean gosh you're the strongest sign when it comes to the solar plex chakra in the in the zodiac you know but it's time to balance things um, and these tensions that for those of you who are having some kind of tension at work uh, it's going to be much easier to resolve this period, especially at the beginning of the period. So just know you're strong. Know that you can do anything. This delay, it's a blip. It, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's a fart in the wind. So uh, even if you are out of work, you, by changing your emotion, energy and motion, and, and not feeling disappointed or any of the other 75 plus, whatever it is, negative emotions, and go to that, I appreciate where I'm at. I appreciate all the things I've gotten in this, in, in my life. And uh, spirit, the guys, God, Jesus, what, uh, whatever you call that ex that external, which really isn't, but that's another story. We'll, we'll leave that for another time. Whatever we call it, say, hey, guys, I appreciate everything you've given me. And wouldn't it be great if I could get, you know, an offer for ding, 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 whatever it is, fill in the blank. But do it out of joy and appreciation. I know it's hard when we're, at, we're feeling disappointed or we're feeling less than stellar. But you can do this. And it's an easy, you know, an easy transition, you know, because I, I, you have the Hierophant here. And the Hierophant is about expansion. It's about support. Um, the Hierophant um, is about, you know, I mean, here we have delays on the home front and the Hierophant saying, Okay, realize your strength, and, and things will start moving forward again during the period, you know, I mean, so, you know, um, we're back to expanding the property. We're, 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 it's so weird because you're not getting commitments and then you're getting commitments. So, so really, it's a quick transition. Once you come into your own power and your own strength, doors, you know, this, this will just switch just like that um but we have commitments and partnerships and celebrations you know and progress and decisions um that you can move forward on uh on a career enterprise i see you know we've got this nine of cups the nine of cups is a great card for you know people call it the wish card they call it um uh you know dreams come true and you know, if you're living in peace, joy, and love, your life is a dream. It's always delicious. Even when things don't seem to go the way that you want them to, you throw it up to the guys and say, hey, guys, you know, um, I'm sure something amazing will come of this. More amazing than I can imagine. And when we do that, we're opening the door, you know. But put down your intentions. Write them down. What would you like? Be specific. You know, I have this uh, Gemini who constantly says, I, re I reject everything else in my life except for this lottery win. Nothing else. And it always like scratched my head going, well, I don't reject any money that, and any abundance the universe wants to give me. So 
be specific in what you want. And if you make it, if you create it in a way that will bring you more, um, as, you, as you accept whatever gifts that the universe wants to give you, you know, then you've got the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> You know, this is about progress and moving forward. I see somebody's building new business and you're, you've got a side hustle. And you're starting to really grow with that side hustle. Um, and you're at a point where you're, you, you're, you're getting a little stuck because you don't know what the next move is. Ask. Throw it up. Say, hey guys, wouldn't it be great? Uh, I appreciate everything you're giving me. Wouldn't it be great if I could learn more about X, whatever X is for you? And I see that coming in. I really see some great uh, progress on the, the uh, on the entrepreneur, on the gig, on the side hustle front. This is the architect, and the architect is building, building, building. Uh, and I see this enterprise. It doesn't have to be big to be an enterprise, guys. Um, you know, this creative project, and it's going to have long-lasting results. And I see, I, I'm getting this feeling of passion for what it is. And when you, guys, when you follow your passion, the money will come. Do what you love. And you're opening the door to the beautiful opportunity here. You know, you've got the Page of Cups. And first of all, you have partnerships and friendships coming that are highlighted this this um, this period, but this is about lightening up. When we lighten up, we ascend, right? Okay. When we lighten up, we're no longer living in Earth A negative emotions. We're living in Earth B of peace, love, and joy, and bliss and passion. Okay, deliciousness. I see lots of emails, lots of communication this week, uh, lots of um, expansion in um, in this creative project. Really opening yourself up to hearing the news and the opportunities coming in. And you're rounding it off with the Three of Rods. And the Three of Rods, this guy, you know, he's looking over this vast opportunity, this va his land, you know, and this, and he's like, you know, and, and it's good. You know, this is about good fortune and enterprise and projects. You've got all the cards here, so to speak, Leo, for um, just dealing with this minor nonsense, what we can consider a minor, as we move into some delicious cards for you here for the for the rest of the week. And we've got uh, Seritus Bay, and Seritus Bay is saying, hey, go now. Go and give yourself the opportunity to grow. All right. This is about letting go of this this Earth A energy, and you know this is about connections to spirit. If you don't already meditate, I can I can't stress uh, uh, emphasize enough how meditation will connect you to spirit, that higher existence. For most people, it's about getting quiet, and that's really the first step in moving forward. You know, um, and creating the, the beautiful life that you want. And we have release and accept. And this is about releasing that Earth A and moving into the Earth B, acceptance of where you're at, appreciation to open the door to new things. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Thanks again for liking and subscribing. Click on that little subscribe button. We'll see you next time.